Hello folks, JotForm is one of the leading online form processing platforms. I shared JotForm here on this YouTube channel with you before, and I showed you how it integrates with Salesforce. Around Dreamforce 2024, JotForm announced a couple of very exciting new functionalities on the platform. One of those new functionalities is the dynamic prefill. With dynamic prefill, you can reach into your Salesforce org and show some of the information in there on your JotForm form. The user can review that information and potentially update the information, which then will go in and update the information on the record in Salesforce. Now, without further ado, let me just dive into the new functionality and show you how it's done. I know that some of you like reading about the new functionalities. I just published a Salesforce break blog post on this topic. You can go to the website and then read about it there. Uh, today, I'm going to be focusing on a couple of these new functionalities in this video, the dynamic prefill and the prefill link automation. And at the end of the video, I'm going to touch also on the integration logs for advanced error management. Now, to use JotForm with Salesforce, you're gonna go to your Salesforce org and install the JotForm App Exchange package. Once you install the JotForm App Exchange package, you're gonna find it under Waffle here. You can just start typing JotForm, click on it. This is gonna bring up this package here. And the JotForm app comes with different tabs. One of them is the JotForm tab. That's going to ask you to enter your credentials for JotForm the first time. The cool thing about JotForm is it is free to start on the JotForm platform. That includes the Salesforce integration and the prefill functionality that I'm going to share with you today. So once you open up JotForm on this tab, um, you're gonna see your forms here if you've built forms. If you have not built forms, it's very easy to build one. You're gonna go to create form and pick create Salesforce form and enter a, an object right? That obviously requires for you to uh, link Salesforce with JotForm before this happens. And you know, the system will walk you through that. So once you pick an object here, the required fields will be pre-selected for you. And you can just add to those fields and they are going to land on the draft form that the system generates for you, which you can customize, right? It's pretty easy. Now, I'm going to go back now, I have done all that. I'm going to show you the form I have already created. So I created a Salesforce volunteer form, right? And let me just go into this form here, edit. So this form is a form that asks for first name, last name, email. Well, there is company information that defaults to volunteer. It's a hidden field because it's a required field out of the box in Salesforce but I did not want to ask the user to enter a company because this is a volunteer form. To get around that, I just created a hidden field for it. And there are the address fields, phone number and mobile phone number. Now, if I go to settings, this is where the integration is set up. You can go to integrations and view the existing settings. This form is integrated with the Salesforce lead. You can go to the details. These are the fields that are mapped against each other. And then this is also set up to update an existing record if there's a match in Salesforce. It's gonna check against the last name and email together. So if both last name and email uh, values match against a record, then it's not gonna create a record, it's gonna update a record, right? So that's the way this form is set up. Now, if you go to publish, you'll see that it generated, I published this already, it generated a URL for the form and I can open this in the new tab and see the form. So when I enter information here, that's going to create a record in Salesforce or update the existing record if there's a match. This does not work with prefill yet, right? We have not done the prefill part here. Now, if you set up prefill, that's going to be under the prefill menu item here on the left. 
you go click on that, you'll see Salesforce dynamic preview. Jotform did have a legacy preview functionality. That's not what we are going to review today. And if you go here, you are going to see that your prefill link is different than your standard form link. So that's important to note. If you want your prefill to work, then you need to use this link over here, right? And let's go back and review the settings for a minute. It says here that um, email and last name will be matched. And if there's a match, the form will prefill all the information that's listed down here, right? So that, that's pretty cool. Let's see if it works. So under my Salesforce leads, I have a lead called Bertha Boxer, and this is a standard lead that comes with DevOrgs. You may be familiar with it. I'm going to copy the email address here and go to my prefill form. I got to be really careful to use my prefill form. The URL includes the word prefill for the prefill form, and I'm going to start entering. Uh, I can enter the first name, but the first name is not being used for a match. What's important here is the last name and the email. I'm going to paste the email in here. And as soon as I hit tab, you see the address from Salesforce is going to prefill into the form. Now, the user can review this information and can make changes to this. Like, for example, the zip code is not correct. I'm going to make it 32333. And I'm going to change the mobile phone number to all threes after 904 submit this let's go back to salesforce now that change has not been reflected here because i have not really refreshed my screen let me refresh my screen now i see the mobile phone number changed and also the zip code changed here right so it's working as designed now if i go back to my form this is the thank you message that's standard in JotForm that can be customized depending on your plan. I'm going to refresh this form and enter another information. I mean, the last name is going to be the same, Diana Boxer, but the email will differ. So it's going to create a record in Salesforce if it works well. Stone Edge Avenue, Jacks, Florida. And I'm going to submit this information and see if Salesforce created a record for this. Let me go back to my lead list and I see that Diana Boxer record is in here. So it works very well. Now it's quite exciting, right? You know, so you can try this out yourself and get started with that free. And, you know, depending on your needs, you can move to uh, any of the um, other plans that they have, paid plans that they have and leverage the additional functionality that comes with that. Now, let me just see here um, the flow that I have built for um, the automation part and show you how that works. Now, the prefill functionality also works when you pass the prefill information in a URL link while opening the prefill form, right? So, so here I've created a very simple flow that emails a prefill link to the lead. Whenever um, the volunteer manager moves the lead record to working status, an email is going to go out to the lead and ask them to update their own information. A lot of times, people enter uh, inaccurate information on the web, incomplete information on the web, and then that needs to be reviewed and double-checked. Now, you can either use an email template to do this or use 
the text template functionality with the email action inside Salesforce flow. Now here is my email body. Let me just show you an HTML format. So here I'm saying hello, hello, lead first name, last name. I'm working on your volunteer application while I'm processing your request. Please go to the form link below and review your information and make corrections if necessary. So there is a click here to go to the form URL link and that's constructed right in here. And this is the prefill form link that JotForm provides me. Uh, I have uh, actually shown that to you where, where that is listed on the JotForm system. And then here you'll see the last name and the email information are being sent to the form as URL parameters. And here you'll see that the field names are actually named kind of interestingly, like, you know, it's the last name field is called name three and email field is called email eight. Um, JotForm actually provides a web page, a tool for you to figure out what those field names are. And I shared that in the blog post. You can go there and then figure out how these um, can be constructed based on your own form information. So once that email is sent out, that's this email right here. Um, the user can click and with that click, the last name and the email information is going to be prefilled. And you'll see the phone number and mobile phone came with the Salesforce record from the lead. There was no address information listed, which uh, is the whole purpose of this email. So, you know, this will give the opportunity to the lead to enter their own address that's currently incomplete in Salesforce. Uh, this opens up um, um, a lot of use cases for you to implement, uh, to uh, send out emails to the users to get their information reviewed and corrected. Uh, it's very useful. Now let's go back to the last functionality I wanted to cover. Uh, a couple of years ago, when we looked at the JotForm solution, um, JotForm solution didn't have a two-factor authentication and multi-factor authentication. Now they do. And um, another criticism we had for JotForm is that they didn't really provide an integration log uh, for the Salesforce integration. So you couldn't really go back and see uh, what kind of errors uh, the user encountered while they were creating or updating a record in Salesforce. Now that's available, uh, which is a very welcome change. So if you go to your Salesforce org under JOT form, you can pull up your form and go to the integration tab. That's under settings. And here you have a link to see your action logs. So your action logs show you all the successes and details. Uh, by default, it shows you the last 30 days. Uh, so far, I did not really have any errors or, you know, failures that is not listed here. But if you experience that, you are going to see detail in here that you can review, which is excellent. I thank JotForm for sponsoring the blog post and this video, and I thank you for watching it. Have a great day.